I'm Randy Herring, and I work with To Serve Ministry as a teacher and a mentor, and I work with the men that are incarcerated at Park County Jail. I grew up going to church, but never had a relationship with God until about 20 years ago. It was shortly after that that uh, the Lord moved me <laughs> to California. After I became a Christian, I served uh, as an elder, taught classes, was involved in some nonprofits. My wife and I are not the kind that just go in, sit down, and warm a seat on Sunday. Uh, we like to be involved. We like to serve. Until To Serve came along, I had never been involved in any prison ministry. In 2021, we were primary caregivers for my 90-year-old parents, and we were looking for a ministry that we could get involved in. So when we saw the presentation about To Serve, uh, before it was over, we looked at each other and said, hey, we can do this. We can do it at home. So it satisfied uh, that need. And another thing that was appealing was the fact that we didn't have to be Bible scholars to be a, a teacher and to mentor to these people. And the more we got involved in it, the more we look forward to every week of getting a new, new batch of lessons in. The more we did it, the more we realized these people that are in there, they've made a mistake. And a lot of them are hungry for the Word. They're hungry to make a change in their life. When you've worked with uh, someone and they've gone through 13, 14, 15 lessons, and they're opening up and telling you what's going on in, in their life, the names of their kids, their wife. When you get a lesson in, sometimes uh, there's no comments, no questions, and then there's others, they just write all over the whole page. I recall Justin's, one of the things I enjoyed about him was his handwriting. <laughs> he has great penmanship. And he would ask questions that told me he's really interested. And he started opening up about his, his background. And over a period of months, uh, I felt like I knew him. There's a lot of personal experiences that we all have that you can use to relate to these people. This is one that Justin wrote. I'm in Tarrant County finishing up the last page of this chapter. I've already been made parole, so hopefully I'll be home within a couple of weeks. So I'm just taking it one day at a time, trusting in our Almighty to see me through it, just as he has done this entire time. I want to attend y'all's church and further develop my relationship with Christ and our friendship. Thank you both for your encouragement and valuable lessons. I'm forever grateful. I hope all is well with you and your family, and I look forward to meeting you both. God bless you. I'll keep you in my prayers, your friend and brother in Christ. I'm Justin Morrison, and I was a student at the Two Serve Bible Study Correspondence Fellowship. Um, actually, I've got a, I had a really good upbringing. My, my whole family's been, you know, churchgoers my entire life. Um, my granddad was, was the founder of that. Um, we prayed every night, you know. I've always known and believed that, you know, that there was a God and that, that he, was, he was for the betterment of me. Through my teen years, you know, I started smoking, started smoking pot, doing all that, partying. Um, never really studied the Bible. You know, I knew it was there, but I didn't focus any time or spend any time trying to kindle that relationship. Um, I got married when I was 20. For a while it worked and then, you know, I started struggling with the, with the marriage. We were struggling financially with the kids and school, I mean, everything. I told God, I said, just leave me alone. You know, I got this, L let me do it. And uh, he did. He was still there, you know, making sure I had everything, but no, it was, it was tough. The, f the first time I went to Lindsay State Jail in 2015, um, I had gotten in trouble in 2011 for, for selling marijuana. Um, I did three out of the four years on probation and then decided to quit going. Once, once they caught up to me, I went from the judge, sentenced me to 15 months in state jail. So I did the whole 15 months, got out, then I started doing cocaine on the weekends. 
Um, you know, just as a, as a party, just just to have fun. Once one weekend, I I stayed up too late, partying too hard, and I had to go to work the next day. Um, and I ran out of cocaine, so I was coming down. And uh, I asked one of my employees I knew that he he did meth, so I was like, hey, you know, you mind if I have a couple hits? He said, okay, you know, I I really don't want you to because you don't you don't need to go back down that road, but that's what you want. So I, I did that as a pick me up. Off and on, I did it for a couple times, you know probably for two to three months. Started doing the math in my head. I'm like, okay, I, I can make money at this. I started dealing meth. And before long, I was selling probably an ounce to an ounce and a half a day. I ended up losing contact with my kids, you know, lost contact with my family. Chasing the drug, chasing chasing the money, the women, the, anything that comes along with it. I personally didn't do a whole lot. It was just more of selling the, the need to be wanted. That's a high in itself, you know, the drug, the drug couldn't match that high. One night, you know, going to make a sale and got pulled over. That, that was the end of that. And it was about a month, maybe two months there, there was a, a little two-serve ministry and I, I knew I needed to do something to occupy my time while I was there. Something that would help me, you know, not go back to that lifestyle whenever I got out. So I started doing it, you know, we were we were doing it every week and I always looked forward to it. And what really hooked me to the two serve was when they sent the first packet out, it was a, a letter that was personalized. You know, it was it was sent to me, like I'm a person to you. I'm not just another number or another student or something. Like it's personal. So, you know, I, I started to do it with Randy, and, you know, he would always send me little messages and notes and everything like that. And we, we developed a friendship through, through the two-serve. But every, every time I got my, my new study in, that was the first thing I did. Like if I was doing something else, playing games, watching TV, whatever, I put it down and I put my study first. The whole time I was down, God was there. You know, I, I felt him. I saw through my whole journey that, that he was there. He was gonna be there, that I wasn't, I wasn't gonna worry. When I got out, well, I had to go to the orientation over at parole. And I was sitting there, you know, listening to everybody talk. And then he said, I'm Randy with the Two Serve Ministry. And I said, I know that guy. I walked up to him and said, I said, you're Randy? I said, I'm Justin Morrison. He said, Justin, he gave me a big old hug. And then Cindy was there. She was like, oh, Justin and Inga. And, you know, I met met all of them. And, and one day he was like, well, if you, you need a ride to church, you need anything, you know, just let me know. And he gave me his number right there. And, I mean, that's been pretty much where it's been ever since. So I was baptized on Christmas Eve. Um, and my mom, she was so proud. And my grandma being here and being able to see me be baptized, like, there's nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like it. 